Dermatology is the study of the skin. Any individual can occasionally contract a skin condition, but several are more commonly seen in the physically active population. Skin infections may be caused by bacteria, fungi, or viruses. Related inflammatory skin conditions may result from mechanical, environmental, allergic, or chemical skin reactions. Early identification of the ensuing lesions and specific treatment minimize the healing time and prevent both the spread and the recurrence of a condition. The integumentary system, the epidermis, dermis, and hypodermis make up the integumentary system. It is the interface between the body and the external environment. It is a dynamic system that forms a barrier against invading organisms and outside influences. It also allows people to sense and adapt to the environment in terms of thermoregulation, fluid loss, proprioception, and kinesthesis. The nails are made up largely of keratin found on the dorsal surface of all the fingers and the toes. The nails are a hard, clear surface that presents a pink color from the underlying highly vascular epithelial cell layer. The lunia is at the proximal end and is moon-shaped. It's a white, opaque layer that protects the nail matrix. The nail folds surround the lateral and proximal nail and hook into the nail bed. The skin. The major functions of the skin are to protect the body from bacteria, fungi, various viruses, and other germs in the outside environment. It helps to regulate body temperature. It prevents the loss of fluids and nutrients through the cutaneous surface, and it aids in the transmission of information from the outside environment to the brain. There are several layers of the skin. The epidermis contains the germinal layer, where production of new skin cells, called epidermal cells, occurs, and sebum, which is an oily substance that binds to the epidermal cells, is produced. The dermis contains the sweat glands, hair follicles, sebaceous glands, blood vessels, and a complex array of nerve endings. And then the subcutaneous tissue is composed of fat for insulation and energy storage. Skin lesions. Whenever the skin is damaged, a lesion appears. Evaluation of the skin should be conducted in a well-lit room that provides a private and respectful environment. A health care provider of the same gender should be conducting the examination when available. However, if you're being professional, the gender of the health care provider really should not matter, but some patients are more comfortable with a provider of the same gender, so understanding cultural competence and making sure that your patient is at the center of your care is important. Begin with a thorough history, asking the patient if they have any skin problems to report. If they felt ill, nausea, fever, body aches, or even fatigue. Avoid touching the patient whenever possible, and if necessary, wear gloves. Skin lesions can be caused by direct trauma, allergic reactions, chemical irritants, heat, cold, bacteria, fungi, and even viruses. The visual inspection. We look at the pattern, the color, and the location. For the pattern, does the lesion appear scratched, raised, or depressed? Does it occur in groups or clusters? Is it bullous, moist, dry or crusted, or draining fluid. For the color, what is the color of the lesion? What is the color of the lesion? What about the surrounding tissue? And the fluid or the crust that is coming from the lesion? Is the color uniform with well-defined borders and symmetry, or is it not? The location, is the lesion above or below the hairline on the scalp? Or is it on or near the genitals or the mouth? For the primary lesions, they can be caused by a condition or a disease. They can be non-palpable, such as a macule, or palpable and solid. Examples are papules, wheels, tumors, and plaques. Lesions can also be palpable and fluid-filled, 
Some examples of that are vesicles, bolias, and pustules. Lesions can also be caused by secondary external forces. Damaged or diminished skin surfaces could include excoriation, fissures, erosion, and even ulcers. An augmentation or an increase in the skin surface can occur as well. Some examples would be crusts, scales, lichnification, scars, and keloids. Lesions can often be identified by their size and their depth. This table may help individuals to recognize the differences in the size and depths of different skin lesions.